Hi, so the art project that I wanted to do was inspired by a book called Apple that was written by Nikki McClure and it basically just outlines the life cycle of an apple. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make a little drawing and start from a seed to kind of work its way up to you know, a tree and then the apple itself. And then maybe, I don't know, take like a chunk out of the apple to represent, you know, it being eaten or something like that. But we're just going to uh, start drawing and I guess talk about some of the things that this little project will work on, okay? So I'm just gonna start by doing like the basic little outline of the background and You'll have to forgive me because I'm not a particularly good artist, I guess, but we'll make it work, that's for sure. So again, like I said, we're gonna start out with a little seed on the ground. And then that's going to blossom into this huge apple tree. But instead of red apples, we're going to have Granny Smith apples because those are the ones I like the most. And then from there, we're going to have this giant apple that's just kind of laying on the ground this apple's looking more like a green tomato now that i actually draw it but that's okay And then, like I said, we're going to finish off with this apple with a huge chunk taken out of it. And we're going to go ahead and color this in here. Now, obviously, with reading a book, you know, it's going to work on those verbal skills, but once we get to the actual drawing part, we're going to work on kind of staying outside of the outlines that we drew and kind of work on those fine motor skills a little bit more. seems to be easier said than done for me but I am trying to make this a little bit shorter video just because I don't want the file size to be too large because my internet speed isn't that great and it'll take forever to upload Well, this is a very good book and I've actually read it with my niece Hazel before 
So I'm not entirely unfamiliar with the idea behind the book. I'm just kind of using a pretty goofy set of colors here just because I don't know I don't want anybody to feel like they would have to you know make this a super realistic art project I don't feel like that's good for any child's creativity but even with the colors being kind of goofy like this it's fairly easy to see the idea that we're going for here when representing the life cycle of the apple. And I believe we are done. And this is our final project. We have our little seed down here, our full grown apple tree with our little Granny Smith apple up there at the top, our humongous green apple that again, looks more like a green tomato. And then the giant bite taken out of it representing the end of the life cycle. Um, yeah, thank you for your time.